This funky little cactus is known as Mammillaria longimama. So longimama mama means long nipple. And you could see from this plant that they have these structures that look like little green nipples and they have some uh, spines that are coming out so you don't want to stick yourself on this plant. You'll see that I have this growing in a very uh, rocky mixture and this is actually part of the the growers mix that I got this and I really like that kind of like rocky a little bit more like bonsai mixture so I am have a tendency now to grow a lot more of my cacti in something that's really well draining uh, such as that. And I have this growing directly in my southwest facing window. So this plant is loving it. It's actually native to Mexico. It could handle a lot of that um, direct sunlight. If you're trying to grow this plant in something less than direct sunlight, then it's probably not going to do too well. And I think that for those of us who don't have like really great light in our house and we get a cacti or in some cases a succulent for a gift and people say, hey, it's actually not easy to kill a cactus and then you do because you're not giving it enough of light, um, then that is actually uh, probably, probably the reason that you're going for. As far as watering this guy, I actually withhold watering for the most part in the winter months and some of the late fall months. And as soon as spring starts up again, then I'll start watering again because that southwest facing window light gets a lot of intense light and you wanna be watering it in relation to the light that you're giving it. And But mind you, this is a more succulent variety of plant and it's holding all that water and kind of these long nipples, if you will. So you're not going to want to overwater this plant, but because I have it in a really well draining mix, it's not going to hold on to a lot of that water anyway. Um, as far as fertilizing this goes, most of my cacti, I just give a very gentle cacti fertilizer. So a 247, 347, anything like that, a 122, um, a 121, any of those of that nature would be would be fine for this plant. And you could even do and get away with it on a monthly to a bi-monthly basis, and that should be perfectly fine. As far as pests go, I haven't had any personal pressures on this plant, but uh, I would imagine that you can get mealybug. I do have another mammillaria that has a little bit of mealybug pr pest pressures, and they do not seem to mind that there are spines or fuzz on cacti. Actually, the more that they could hide in that fuzz, you know, the better. Um, this one, you could see that there's a little bit of fuzz hanging out near the aerials uh, and, where, and where maybe some of the flower structures would actually come out. But uh, I haven't had any other pest pressures, but you can let me know how you're actually growing this in your home because I think the more that people share about how they're actually growing it, both indoors or outdoors, because some of you actually might be living in a nice hot, dry climate where you can actually grow some of these outdoors. I, for one, am not, so I have to actually resort to having house plants. But if you're growing this in different kinds of conditions or you have a different insight, you can feel free to share in the comments below.